Very beautiful sight. Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. So sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. I'd be looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> on the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Our child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? Judy. No guard on gate, empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. Why was that not walking there? Anyway guys, welcome to another episode of Beyond Two Souls. And I really feel like we should be coming to an end to this game way a bit soon. Mm. 
Is this called St. John's Hospital? I think I, I don't think I can handle it in a mental hospital, man. Try the polite approach. Get some every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I didn't. I'm afraid you say that. Founder, Nora Gray, seventh floor, room forty-three. Hey. There's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. That uh, is. He's panicking there, just scammed him. Cool. What's his name? Ah, he is. Please tell me you can buy a soda this time. Or a, or a can, as we call it. When, when we're talking about non alcoholic. So far, so good. Level 7, room 43. <gasps> I thought he was a guard behind him. What now? I don't know. Find a way to open that door. You know, this takes me back to Heavy Rain, where they also go to a mental hospital. And we see the killer's mother. And they've been Scott Shelby and that. Have a look around. You can see I'm just trying to up higher. And I click the button. There we go. Crap. I need to distract him. First. Ah, go to you first. <laughs> Far away. Damn it. I'm ready to try something closer to the door. I don't know how to do that, but there we go. Anything? Honestly, where would Jodie be before Aiden? Honestly. Huh. 
Ah, il est où Oh, this should see a mother. I get it, it's your mother, but come on. Ah, uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. She may develop see some her. special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. I was so afraid. 
never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Just rob her and leave? Nah, I'm joking, that's so sad, man. <laughs> Stay, see if I just missed. Just one quick. All over, see if I missed anything. Flashing there. Who was, I wonder who it was that said to her, like heal the dose? Or who said it would be alright and that? I guess it's time to go. I'm sorry, Jody. Oh, of course. <coughs> I don't think he told, just due to the fact that he had his hands up as well. Kind of wish that didn't happen, it kind of takes it away from the whole sad memory kind of thing. Like he tried to make you feel sad, then she just gets snoped it. All these mics are motions and I punched the table and I didn't mean it, it was sore, but we're going to keep going. See what heavy rain. Not even heavy rain actually, see what Beyond Two Souls makes you day. I keep getting mixed up with it sometimes. I've not made that's the first time I've done it in the video though. Heavy rain's been and gone in my channel. Unless there's two. That doesn't look good. Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But 
I convinced them to wait for a while, watch you from a distance. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infra-world. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infra-world better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. <laughs>